I'm gonna walk through one of our keyword analysis processes. This is great to do after you already have a general idea of the types of keywords you might want to target. Uh, this template's gonna help you analyze some of the data and determine which keywords to prioritize uh, first and which keywords to go after more on a long-term basis. So we're gonna walk through each tab and how to use this template. So the first tabs that are marked in orange, we just need to pull data from Ahrefs into these tabs before we move on to the actual keyword research tab. The first thing we're gonna do is open up Ahrefs and go to the Site Explorer. And we're gonna put in our URL. And there's three main reports that we want to get access to to build out the template and allow the, the tool to analyze some of the data. So we're gonna be looking for the organic keywords report. This report shows the keywords you currently rank for. Then we're gonna look at the top pages report. This one's gonna show, similar to the organic keyword report, it's just gonna organize everything by the top pages on your website, and then it's gonna map that to the top keyword that that page is ranking for. And then we want some backlink data. So we're gonna add the Best Buy Links report, which will show the current pages on your website that have backlinks. So now that we have these open, we're just gonna export the data. So I like to kind of export each report all at once. So here we're gonna export organic keywords. Then we're gonna export top pages. Now it's important that you don't export here and you actually export down here. This is gonna export this table versus the chart data above. So we're gonna click export. And then finally, we're gonna do the best by links report. So we're gonna export this as well. Now that we have all of that, we can, uh, open up these uh, CSV files and import them into the, the template. So we'll start with current uh, ranking. So we're just gonna click uh, file then import. I like to, cause I already have this formatted to just the tabs we need. We're actually gonna set up a new sheet and import it here. So typically what I'll do is I'm just gonna grab the CSV file, drop it in. And then I like to do replace data at selected cell. If, assuming we're in that top right. And now we just do a little bit of formatting. So we have uh, keyword, current position, volume, difficulty. So we're just gonna move some stuff around here so it's in the right order. Uh, we want current position here, volume, difficulty, then we want URL, uh, and then we want SERP features. So now we could just copy this whole section and you can also do this with VLOOKUP formulas. If you don't want to manually do this every time, you could set up some formulas right here that automatically pull in the data you want. But it's fairly quick to, to do it this way as well. So now we have our report here that shows all the keywords we're currently ranking for. It has our position and it's color coded, coded for first page uh, in green, second page in yellow, and then page three plus in red. You can see the actual URL that's ranking and then uh, cert features as well. So now that we have this, we're going to import the top pages report now. So same process here, we'll go to import and then upload. And then this time we're gonna drag the CSV for top pages and drop those in. Now we do have to do formatting here as well. These are the columns we want. So again, you could set up VLOOKUPs here to do this automatically so you don't have to manually adjust these, but we'll manually order them for now. So we need this, then we need top keyword, then we need position, which is over here. So current top keyword position. If we go back to this, then we need volume and actually number of keywords and then volume. So we're gonna move position here and then we're gonna put number of keywords in C and then we just need search volume, which is right here. And we're gonna put that in there. So now we have our proper columns. So we'll copy this and paste that in. Same thing, we have the color coding here uh, to denote what's on the first page, second page, or th beyond the third page. Uh, and then finally, we just need to add the Best Buy Links report. So this one, we're actually going to, uh, not really gonna need to format. So this one's already configured uh, to work with the, a future tab that we're gonna look at. So all we need to do on this one is actually import the CSV right into this. And we'll do that, and now we have our columns here. Um, so we can delete this off. You could hide this tab. We typically hide this one since we don't really need to see anything visible here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide the sheet. We just wanna make sure we have the data loaded. What this is gonna allow us to do is when we go to do our keyword analysis, 
it's going to pull in if the page already has backlinks, uh, which is going to be good for us to know when we're trying to plan out our link building efforts. So now we're all set up and we're ready to go. So ultimately what we're driving towards is this sheet that has a ton of data points to help you evaluate each keyword. We'll get into what each of these do, but really what you're going to need to do is import all your keywords into column A, and then we just need to input three metrics from Ahrefs. You could use other tools as well, but for this example, we're going to use Ahrefs and we're going to do traffic potential, search volume, and keyword difficulty. And then everything else is going to populate uh, with the data and the scoring criteria. Now intent, you could do this manually. We tend to like to use SEMrush and we have a VLOOKUP set up where at the end we're going to import SEMrush data here. And this is going to pull in the intent automatically. Um, you could also use Ahrefs uh, or SEMrush to pull all the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Ahrefs now and go to the Keyword Explorer tool. And once we get here, this is where we're going to start putting in our seed keywords. So this template is really made where you already have a general idea of the types of keywords you want to go after. So in this case, we're going to be doing this research on GA4. So what I like to do is just put in the broad seed keyword and we'll download, we'll go here, we'll open that up. Then we'll also put in this version where we have it kind of spelt out. And let's drop this in. Let's open that up and we're going to export all these keywords and run the analysis on this. So there's about 6,000 keywords here. I do like to set some filters. So minimum search volume, we could do 10 if you want to go on the low end and this will reduce the keywords by quite a bit because there's going to be some, yeah, you can see we're down to 2,500 now. Uh, for this example though, let's say we want to do a minimum of a 100 search volume just to reduce the uh, size here. So we have 90, 97 keywords and then let's apply the same filter here. Now, again, you could also do filters for difficulty, any other criteria that you have if you want to minimize the list size. But for now, we're just going to do this. So then we will export both of these. And we're going to add uh, the data here into the tool. So what I like to do is we don't want to import it here because we're going to get a bunch of unnecessary columns. So we do want to also open up a new sheet and run the same import process to get this keyword data into the template. And same process here, we'll replace the data. Then I like to click right here and import the other one. So now we'll import our other variation. You can really do this for as many seed keywords as you wanna do. Um, we'll get one big list, we're gonna delete this. So now we have kind of our uh, base data that we want here. So we're gonna grab this keyword column um, and we're gonna paste this in into the first column here. So now we have our keyword data and then we need traffic potential. We need search volume and then we need difficulty. And these are the three metrics we're going to want. So I'm going to grab those and we will paste these in. So now we have all of our core metrics and a lot of these formulas have already started to populate the data. Uh, we do want to grab intent and then topic is optional. But what I typically like to do is either add high level topics or you could even add another column for subtopics. In this case, everything is GA4. So I'd probably just include that and uh, put that all down there. If we also looked into other things, like let's say um, reporting was another thing we wanted to research, then I would then go and add those reporting keywords. I like to do them in order so we don't have to manually at the end add topics. It's a little bit easier to do it as you're going. And you could get more granular than this, but for example purposes, we're just going to put GA4 for all these keywords. The benefit of this is you could run pivot tables and make charts and summarize the data by topic. So you can start to see like which topics are more difficult or have more traffic potential. Um, there's a lot of variations and charts you can build uh, with the topic and the intent column. So to get intent data, what we need to do is grab all of the keywords in column A. So we're gonna use the keyword overview tool to grab some of these search intent data. Now in this example, we're just gonna pull 100 keywords and you could use SEMrush data entirely and just put all your keywords into here, export them right out of this tool. You'll already have the search intent data and then you don't necessarily need to use the VLOOKUP formula. But because we use Ahrefs, we're going to grab search intent here. And this whole template just takes a few minutes to set up and once it's set up, you could start importing uh, keywords into the sheet. 
So we're just going to export these. Sometimes you may have to update the metrics, but um, in this case, we're just going to export the CSV. And then we will uh, import this into the SEMrush intent tab. So this should already uh, match up in terms of the columns. So you don't need to do anything here besides import that keyword data. So we're going to do that and we'll replace. Now we have this data here. And now when we go back to the keyword tab, we have our search intent data starting to populate. Uh, we didn't do all the keywords. So some of them are going to show up as NA. Um, and you could also see a few of them don't have the intent data. So if we would have updated the metrics, it would have grabbed this. But for now, we should be fine. So now what we're left with is the initial keywords we're analyzing. We have our base metrics. And then when we scroll over, we can start to see where do we currently rank for each keyword. So I could start to see like, here's a keyword that's on page two. Uh, here's another one. These could be good short term opportunities. This is running a traffic projection. So we're basically multiplying your rankings. Uh, we're using rankings to, multi uh, to come up with a click through rate number and then multiply that by the search volume or the traffic potential. And that'll give us our estimated traffic. So in this case, we're on page two, so we're not getting much traffic currently. Then we have, if we were in position one, how much traffic would we get? And then we're multiplying uh, or we're subtracting the uh, estimated from the position one traffic so we can get our increased potential. So this will give us how much traffic potential each keyword has. Um, we also have a conversion projection. Again, you could adjust this conversion rate number uh, up or down. Then we'll get to scoring uh, criteria. So on a scale of one to five, we score each keyword, five being the best, one being the worst for volume, difficulty, and traffic potential. And then we can make a priority score from the average. So this will give us a easy way to evaluate in terms of metrics, which keywords have the most volume to difficulty to traffic potential ratio. Um, the number one thing though, is always going to be the intent behind the keyword. You, well, the way we start, we use the metrics kind of as a secondary evaluation tool. The first thing is always going to be which keywords do we feel like make the most sense based on our larger strategy or which keywords do we feel like are going to move the needle the most within the business. And then you could use these metrics almost as a tiebreaker when you're deciding between similar keywords that you feel have similar value to your audience. So there's tons of metrics in here, but that's always step one. And then we use this keyword analysis tool to help us evaluate when there's similar keywords that we have grouped into a similar tier. Um, after we have our priority scores, then we project out uh, a timeline and the actual tactic we need to do for each keyword. So we're tr trying to evaluate which keywords do we feel like might be short term, which ones are medium and which ones are long term. So combined with the priority score, you can now start to see what are your highest potential short term opportunities and what are the highest potential medium and long term. And then we've mapped in what we need to actually do to rank for this keyword. Do we need, is there an existing page that we can leverage and optimize? Uh, or is there a new piece of content that needs to be developed? Um, so this will give you the ultimate next step of what you need to do. Now for on page, what we're, the criteria there is we're looking to see if there's already an existing URL on your website that's ranking within the top five pages. If so, then we will recommend to optimize that page. If not, then we're typically going to recommend new content because we just don't have the right content on the website currently to actually rank, uh, even within the top five pages. So this gives you the on page tactic you need to do. And then ultimately all the way on the right here, we have backlink data so we can round out this strategy. So what we have here is we have an estimate on how many backlinks we need to be on page one for that keyword. Then we're mapping in how many we currently have. And that's coming from that Ahrefs best by link report. And then we're just dedu deducting that to show how many net new backlinks do we need to develop. So this is another way you could help prioritize. We can start looking at keywords that have a high priority score, um, but a low quantity of backlinks needed. Like right away, I could see this one, it's a really long tail keyword, but it uh, has a high score with low backlinks required. We could also see if you did have certain pages that have a lot of backlinks, it's always notable to see that here. And then we can start mapping out and make a plan to create new content, to optimize content, and we know exactly which content we need to drive backlinks to, um, to ultimately build out a content plan. So that's it with this sheet. This sheet isn't meant to be an exhaustive method. It's really just supposed to be a quick way. After you have this set up, you can continue to swap out new keywords and see how that changes the data. 
Um, you could also make visualizations from this, and that's really where a lot of the power comes in because you could start analyzing topics or intent or different uh, variables that are in here and then see how is the overall difficulty or the overall volume potential for different topics of keywords. And you could do that by just making pivot tables. So we'll cover that on another video. Um, but that's really it. We're gonna be giving away this template inside of our newsletter. So this will be going out next week. Uh, so if you want a copy of this template, just sign up for the newsletter and you'll get this sent to you directly and you can use it and make your adjustments to analyze your own keywords.